Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today we're going to talk about blockchain and distribution, the fi final feature in a fully featured blockchain when a blockchain complete solution is, is actually impl implemented. And it's going to be by far the hardest thing for businesses to do. See, businesses want to control their budgets. They want to control their ability to modify the software that runs their business. They want to have control of everything that is within their domain. Well, if they're going to get a benefit from blockchain to the level that they really see and has the potential of being, they're going to have to give up a few of those controls. So let's talk about the eight components of decentralization. Okay, the first is decision making. Of course, businesses want to make their own decisions. They want to be able to decide on how the software is going to work and how it's going to benefit them and all, do all those things. Well, in a blockchain, what's going to happen is they're going to need to collaborate with others on those kinds of decisions. They're going to have to collaborate with others and codify all of the information on the blockchain based on a consortium or a group of, of companies that may in fact be their competitors. The next thing, number two, is participation. They're going to have to let anybody and everybody join this particular blockchain. So if it's a supply chain blockchain and you want to have it to be fully featured, have tokens to benefit people who participate and have it fully decentralized the way it's supposed to be, they're going to have to let anybody, even competitors, to participate within the blockchain. And it might be a supply chain that ends up starting out as supporting a particular business or a particular industry and end up morphing into, into benefiting many others. You never exactly know how far reaching the benefits of a blockchain can be. They're going to have to give up commercial ownership and oversight. The biggest challenge to them is going to be not owning the software. They're going to participate in the software. They're going to have one voice when they run a full node on that particular blockchain. So they're going to have the one node, one voice, one vote type of a concept. Okay. The next thing is the financing. The financing is going to have to be distributed. No single entity will finance the entire enterprise. It's going to have to be built on a solid financial plan that provides liquidity for the blockchain. That is for sure. And that all has to be worked out when the building of the blockchain begins. Then within the blockchain, there's, of course, going to be rewards because when it's decentralized, then you can have tokens to be able to reward participation and reward people for becoming a participant and running a full node and participating in the code and all the other things that go along with a big software package. Then you've got the technology architecture that's going to have to be agreed upon by several different groups. The consensus algorithms are going to have to be agreed to by all of the entities involved and so that those who run a node are going to have to understand that they're going to have to authenticate each each of the participants and they're going to have to validate all the transactions and by doing so they get rewarded in tokens and then they participate also in the protocol development which is number seven number seven being protocol development basically the source code has to be developed somehow and so the source code usually is, ends up being open source I mean, Bitcoin is open source. Many software developments, Linux, one of the best operating systems in the world is open source. Companies are going to have to buy into that. They're, they're not going to be buying software from a specific company and running it in-house and making their own modifications. They're not going to be hiring uh, some people from a Linux software development house to come develop their, their core Linux operating system for them and build uh, that within their company. They're going to have to be able to rely on a, on a set of software in this blockchain that's going to do a particular process for them that is going to be developed through a consortium where they have input to, but don't have control over. 
And then the last thing, when we talk about that control over it, we talk about network governance. That's going to have to, you know, be distributed as well. The governance over the network is going to have to be worked out through smart contracts and through the validation of users as they come into the network and the validation of all the transactions, the algorithms get used that gets used to do that. So businesses are going to need to learn how to operate differently. They're going to have to learn how to uh, focus their efforts on what process they're wanting to get um, get made more efficient by the blockchain that they're joining. And if the blockchain benefits them, they'll be pulled into it. Businesses will be pulled into blockchains that are built so that they are of such massive benefit that when their competitors join, all of a sudden they take note and have to follow suit. And that's what's going to see the resurgence of blockchain as it becomes more business valuable as they get pulled into uh, blockchains that get developed for specific purposes. And we're beginning to see a few of those now. I hope you understand that there are eight different benefits of decentralization. Decision-making, participation, commercial ownership, financing, rewards allocation, technology architecture, protocol development, and network governance. All of those are parts of this item we call decentralization, the most complex and the most important part of deploying a blockchain. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope to see you again. Thank you. I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. We have great content on, on the site and I'm putting more content out every single day. There's a link to one of them on the side of the screen over here. Also, please help me grow the channel by subscribing. So hit that subscribe button a little bit lower on the other side of the screen and hope to see you again. Thanks.